Hello everyone. Hey, Breck Maxson here, business and finance advisor with the Native American Development Center. Just wanted to do a quick little video just to kind of uh, just do a little recap about uh, the goings on here at the center and also just talk a little bit about our programs. Um, we are located here at 2403 East Thayer Avenue here in Bismarck, um, North Dakota. We serve the Native American community here in the Bismarck Mandan area with various programs. There's two, there's two different entities here under one roof. There's of course us here, the Native American Development Center. And then on the other side of the building, we have Native Inc. that works with a lot of our, our Native uh, community as well. So um, with that, I would just like to quickly, just do a quick reminder to everybody, especially if this is your first time catching me on any of our social media platforms that we throw these videos up on um, real quick. I just want to alert you to the fact that we do have some programs that you may be interested in. Uh, in particular, our um, consumer credit uh, counseling and our credit builder loan program. If you need any help, you've got a banged up FICO score, um, credit report um, has some derogatories on it, things of that nature. Um, we definitely would you know, love to help you out. It's a free service. We don't charge anything. Just come on in or give me a call and we'll set up a block of time to visit with you. Um, we also have a credit builder loan um, for reconsolidation of debt, if there's a fit there. Um, of course, it's a loan, so you have to have a J-O-B. There's repayment involved with it as well. But that's all part of what I'll talk to you about when we sit down and, and discuss your personal credit um, challenges or issues, things that you want um, help with. Uh, we also have our microenterprise loan program. Um, I can assist our native, aspiring and existing um, entrepreneurs, helping them put together their small business plans, um, just talk shop about their business, um, how to grow. Um, if they're having challenges or, or issues with their small business, we can take a look under the hood and see what's going on there and hopefully maybe we can help out. Um, we also have, uh, and I'll also provide help, you know, with your small business plan. I won't write your plan, but I'll definitely um, give you support and um, other resources out there to help you put those plans together. Um, we have a micro enterprise loan program, um, a minimum 5,000 up to $20,000 to help you with your small business startup, or if it's an expansion or a line of credit, um, this might be something for you. It's very micro, but it, it might be enough for, you know, especially for a, a newer, smaller, uh, um, uh, small business setup. Uh, it might be just right for them. Um, we also have a Native American artist's uh, line of credit. I would recommend that to our um, established artists in particular. For new artists, um, you may want to um, wait a little bit before you jump into something like this. You want to make sure that you've got some regular revenues coming in from your from your arts and crafts. Um, that's pretty important for, for repayment on the uh, or pay down on your line of credit. Um, so those are the big three, the, the main programs. We have other stuff in the wings that is coming soon. I won't touch those today, but they are coming soon. We're gonna have more stuff for, um, in terms of services for the Native American Development Center. Um, yesterday, I got a care package from our strategic partner, uh, Project Solutions Inc. Uh, they have the contract with the North Dakota uh, DOT uh, to provide uh, services to our Native American contractors out there and minority contractors as well. Uh, I got some brochures. Um, the uh, My point of contact is Mr. Chris Baker. Um, if you want to have, uh, if you have any questions, I've got his contact information. I've also got a handful of brochures um, uh, to talk about all of the different things for if you are a, a startup contractor or a uh, established uh, native or minority contractor, this uh, program might be just right for you. They provide a ton of different services here. Um, um, and in particular, the, the certification to become a DBE, Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. That's a pretty big deal, especially if you are competing for um, local, state, and federal types of contracts where you're gonna need that type of certification. Um, they can help you get that. So I would recommend them. They uh, can be found. I'll put that on the video here, but uh, it's with the www.dot.nd.gov. Um, that's where, and I'll put that on the video here, that uh, that link, and down in the box below the information box, I'll also include a, a link for you to click on so you can get to those guys and check out their website. 
But I do, if you want to come in, I do have some brochures available and some contact information. <clears throat> also, uh, let's see here. So, yeah. So, yeah, we've been posting on Facebook uh, here and there. If you, uh, if you do have a Facebook account, that's wonderful. YouTube, I've been putting videos up there as well. Um, you can just see here, um, just yesterday, our CEO, uh, Lorraine Davis, posted about the uh, Tribal Economic Development um, uh, Grant that was awarded, or Native American Small Business Development Grant that was awarded by the North, uh, state of North Dakota uh, that was received by the Native American Development Center. Um, I believe that there will be a conference involved with that as well. So exciting things coming on the horizon for NADC. Pretty stoked about that. Can't wait to see uh, some of this uh, all become a reality. And I'm sure that it's going to strengthen us as a whole, as a program here with our um, relationship with the state of North Dakota. So excellent, fantastic news. Uh, good job, Lorraine, on getting that um, all finalized and getting the award uh, from the state. What else have we got here? Um, I just, uh, this earlier this week, I put together a small little video um, about uh, trade schools versus traditional college. I guess I just wanted to kind of just uh, uh, just get, it's just kind of a conversation piece for uh, for our, our, aspi our upcoming uh, Native students to, you know, heading into college, uh, something to think about whether it's going to traditional college or the trades. Um, I guess I, I uh, it, it just depends on the situation for each Native student, you know, what fits them best. I just wanted to put it out there that, hey, you know, bear in mind that there is a place um, and there's awesome, you know, opportunities for uh, for our Native students to, to take a look at. It's worth a look to, you know, uh, to check into the trade schools um, out there. So check out that video if you get a chance. Um, and um, if you know any students that are still on the fence about what they want to do with their life, their career, um, definitely um, it's worth it's worth a, a look into the trades. Uh, let's see here. Last week we had a program services webinar. I'll be doing a program services webinar the second Thursday of every month. So uh, it may or may not be on our, our um, Facebook calendar or um, our Instagram calendar. But I just want to give you a heads up about that every Thursday, 2 p.m. Uh, to about 1.30. Um, I'll be presenting more in depth about those programs I mentioned at the beginning of this video here. A lot more in depth about those um, as well. So uh, let's see here. Uh, later this month, I have got a webinar that I'll be doing with uh, Mr. Andrew Antel. He is a chef, uh, entrepreneur. Um, he's into the social media stuff pretty heavy, and he's uh, nailed down some big opportunities working with the Bismarck High School or with the Bismarck uh, School System here, teaching his craft to to students at the high school level. Pretty excited for him there. Um, I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, visiting with him and he's going to, you know, uh, tell us what he's been up to, um, you know, both uh, here in the Bismarck Mandan area at the tribal level and uh, what are the big things on the horizon for him. I know he's got um, some potential um, opportunities out in the big uh, city, uh, Minneapolis, the Twin Cities. He's going to be um, doing some of his um, doing some recordings or, or, or sessions out there. Uh, to talk about indigenous cuisine, etc. So it's definitely worth a listen or a view if you can uh, catch us on the live uh, Microsoft Teams uh, live stream. Awesome. If not, I'll record it and post it up on our social media platforms when I get them all edited. So um, with that, um, I'll uh, I'll wrap it up here. And just uh, if you have any questions at all. You can you know, reach me 701-712-7284. That's my direct line. You don't have to go through Switchboard. Just give me a call and I'll be happy to visit with you and, and on anything, any of the things that I've talked about here on this on this brief video today, be happy to visit with you um, and uh, see if we can help you out in any, in any area that you need help. So with that, take care. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the weather. We've had some nice weather and uh, Mother, may, Mother Nature, may she may change her tune on us, but let's just, just hope we can keep on, on trucking here and get into the spring and, and summer, the, the warm weather, the good stuff. Right, guys? All right. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.